Hey guys, it's Bree and welcome to my channel. So if I look familiar, that's because this is the second video I filmed today. So this will be another story time and I'm not sure what I want to call it yet. To be honest, I guess, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But so this video involves D who was in my last story time. So, well, it, it doesn't really involve him, but it kind of does. But he's not a main character. So, anyways, um, yeah. Let's get into the video. So, um, this would have been my ninth or 10th grade year in high school. I want to say 10th grade, though. And... Um, I had this little clique. It was me, um, my friend Nicole, and this other girl. We're going to call her S. Her name really did start with S, but I'm just not going to say her name. And um, we we um, started being, like, good friends back in middle school. So, um, S ended up dating D, which, for those of you who don't know, is he was my ex at the time. And it didn't it didn't bother me. Um, we had broken up, and me and him like we were we were really good friends. We were cool. We were still talking text, and it didn't bother me at all. Like it, you know, I didn't I didn't care. Like you know, y'all do y'all. And so, um, like I said, me and him we were really cool. We were like pretty close, and we would just talk all the time. Like we just we had a good relationship. Like we just we had a, a bond. You know what I mean? And so. This one day, I'm at my friend Nicole's house, and Nicole and S used to live in the same neighborhood. But I was really close with Nicole and not as S. <laughs> Look at me dropping names. I was really close with Nicole and not as close with S, but we were still pretty close, just not as close as me and Nicole. And then Nicole and S were pretty close though. But anyway, so. Me and Nicole decide to meet up with S. So I guess S was coming from somebody else's house in the neighborhood because we like we like ran into her when we were walking to her house. So I'ma just say S started off on the wrong foot, okay? Me and Nicole are walking and S was like in a rush to get back to her house and she like runs past me and Nicole and she's like, hey Nicole. And then me and Nicole said, I said, oh, okay. I said, cause I, oh, I know she saw me and Nicole knows she saw me and she knows she saw me. So I said, okay. I thought that was weird. I said, okay. Cause last, you know, Nicole was like, what was that? I said, you tell me. Cause I didn't know we had a problem. She didn't express anything to me. So she she like I said she was kind of scurrying into her house and we were you know a few steps behind her and then she goes oh hey Brianna oh me oh hey how are you I mean Nicole said I said okay that's interesting so we finally make it to S's house and I guess she just had to like touch base with her mom or whatever so she was like oh hey mom um like this is nicole this is brianna we're about to go to the park and her mom was like oh like nice to meet y'all like all right cool so i guess she was just touching base or whatever so we're walking back to the park and it's kind of awkward because you know she was just hella disrespectful not too long ago so you know it's kind of like small talk and i was just kind of hanging out in the back like So we get to the park and and the park is in their neighborhood and so we're sitting on this bench and you know it was kind of awkward nicole was in the middle of us which was probably a good thing and like i said just small talk it was still kind of like there was obvious that she had a problem she just she just didn't express those feelings but it was pretty obvious it was this kind of awkward tension and i was just you know just kind of like okay so 
at one point we were kind of chilling and we were like on our i keep dropping these names so at one point we're sitting there we're kind of on our phones and then s just gets up and storms off across to the other side of the park and like at this point no words have been exchanged so it wasn't like i said something to her that made her mad like she just got up and walked off so she and she walked off like with an attitude so she goes and sits at these picnic tables that are, you know, on the other side of the park. And me and Nicole are like, did you say something? Because <laughs> we don't know what was going on. And Nicole was like, um, well, I'll just I'll just go and talk to her and, you know, and just see, like, see what happened. So. Um, so, yeah, Nicole went over there to talk to her. I'm not exactly sure what they I'm not exactly sure what words were exchanged because I was still on the bench. So after some time, Nicole comes over to me. So she was like, hey, so like she's kind of mad about mad at you. And I'm like, well, shit, I could have told you that. But I'm like, for what? Like, I don't even know what's going on. So, yeah, she was just saying she's mad about you about something, something that had to do with D. And I was just like, I was like, I'm going to just go over there because we like at this point we were like what 15 16 i'm not about to be going back and forth with you playing messenger and all this stuff like you're old enough that if you have an issue with me you should let me know so i just went over there and i was just like so what's up and she was sitting over there at the at the table like I'm like, so what's up? Because you haven't expressed any issue to me. You didn't tell me that you had a problem. So for me to be trying to hang out with you and you're being disrespectful, I'm confused. As far as I know, you're in the wrong. So she pro and I it's been it's been several years, so I don't remember all the details, but she proceeds to tell me that she was mad because I was talking to D, something around those lines. And and then she started pissing me off because she was contradicting herself, right? She was like, oh, like, I don't care if you talk to him or whatever. And then she would say, oh, you're my friend. Like, you should have told me that y'all were talking. Or, and I was like, I was like, boy, what are you? Boy, what are you talking about? Like, what? So, she was just, like, feeling some type of way, I guess. I don't know. So, and she was getting really hype. And at this point in my life, I wasn't a fighter. Back up until basically, like, sixth grade, I really was a fighter. Like, I was willing to, to fight. Like, I didn't, I just didn't care. If we had an issue, we would fight. And... I grew up, I matured, and I just wasn't a fighter. Like, if we have an issue, we can definitely talk about it. And I wasn't no bitch. Like, if I felt some type of way, if I needed to say something, I would say it. I just wasn't a fighter. So, I'm I'm saying what I need to say, and I'm trying to hear her out, but calmly. And she kept getting high. She was, you know, bouncing around and tapping and banging in. And she was doing a lot. And I'm like, I started getting hyped because I'm feeding off of your energy you acting like you want to swing, so I'm about to get ready, you know, in case in case something pop off. And I remember she thought she was really bad. Cause I remember um, she has like um, she had a sort of a rough upbringing, and um, because of that, I know she spent some time in therapy. And she would always brag about like, oh yeah, my therapist is a boxer. Like we, and I'm like. Am I supposed to be afraid of you? You know what I mean? So I feel like she really thought she was bad and everything, which is fine. Like, be bad. Do you? But I was really feeding off of her energy. So I had to prepare myself. I'm like, okay, she act like she want to fight. So let me let me just get in the zone just in case. Just in case she swing, I'm not caught off guard. So I started getting really upset. Because I'm trying to talk to you as mature 15-year-olds should be able to do. And you and she was she was she was reaching for the stars so yeah 
basically she was mad because of the relationship that I had with D, which I didn't understand because I didn't do anything. I, I, I do remember this one day we were on the phone and I remember telling him, like, like I said, we were like really cool, really cool. And this one day I remember telling him like, you know, like, I still love you. And um, he was like, what? I was like, I'm just saying like, I still love you. Like you, like we cool. And you know, like you always have a place in my heart. And, and I remember um, he confided in me about his relationship with us. And I was both of their friends. And I never wished anything ill on her. So it was funny to me that she was she was coming at me this way. And I never wished anything ill on you. So I remember he was confiding in me and he was telling me that he didn't want to be with her anymore and that they wanted to break up. This wasn't this wasn't the day that I was telling him like I love you or nothing like I'm not shady like that. And so I remember him telling me, you know, I don't want to be with her and all this stuff. And I was like, I was, you know, like, well, why not? Like, are you sure is, you know, like, is it just a rough patch? I'm the type of person that I take relationships seriously, even at a young age. Like, I didn't just throw them away. So I was talking to him as his friend and then, of course, as her friend. So I was like, well, you know, it's definitely whatever the issue is you need to bring it up with her you know what i'm saying as a woman as a person i would hate for someone to just be like oh like it's over and i don't even know what happened so i think you should definitely bring up the issue to her like hey can we talk babe this is how i'm feeling this is my issue and then y'all decide you know okay let's try to work it out this is how we're going to try to work it out and um he was just saying i don't even know if i want to do that like i'm just really kind of over it and i was like you can be over it, but it's fair. You need to let her know where you're coming from. Like, you need to tell her, regardless if you break up with her or not, you need to tell her how you really feel. I said, um, and then he was saying, like, the main reason, like, I'm scared to break up with her is because, you know, all of her friends, they're always in her business, and he didn't want backlash and all this other stuff, like, you know, the messy stuff that goes on. And I was like, you know... I can understand that, but at the end of the day, what, they might be upset, but it, they'll get over it. It has nothing to do with them, A. B, they'll get over it, you know what I mean? I said, it's not right for you to be in a relationship if you're not happy, and it's not right for her either. So, I was advising him as a friend. I, w I had no ill intentions. I was not trying to get with him. I didn't want anything against her, like, none of that. So, um... I don't know if he ended up telling her how he felt or what, but she was really mad. She was like, oh, you should have told me that y'all were talking and all this shit. I said, why is it any of your business who I speak to? I said, he's not cheating on you. And if he is, it's not with me. I said, I'm not kissing him. I'm not touching him. I'm not trying to date him. So what do I need to tell you? Like, how is my friendship with him any of your business? It's not. And I wasn't doing anything shady. So I was like, I don't know, you know, if you're insecure or, you know, what your issue is, but I'm not trying to date him. That's, I'm not doing that. I said, we're friends. We're good friends. And we're going to continue to be good friends just because you come along. Don't mean he's going to stop talking to me. I said, I'm going to still talk to him. Like, that's my, that's my, like, we cool. So I said, I don't know what your issue is because we haven't done anything wrong. Like I said, at least not with me. So I don't know why you have this issue. And on top of that, you're telling me that you don't care, but you obviously care for whatever reason. So I said, don't be mad at me because y'all have something going on or because you're insecure or because he don't want to be with your ass anymore. Like, that has nothing to do with me. I promise you. I said, and if anything, I was trying to help him stay with you. I told him that he needs to talk to you, let, let you know how he feels so y'all can figure out how to fix it. So I was really trying to help you out. So you don't even know what you're talking about. So she was just like really mad about it. And then she was like, oh, like, do you love him and stuff? I was like, of course I love him. He was my first love, my first kiss. And like I said, we're really good friends. Like I, I will always love him. He will always have a place in my heart. That doesn't mean I'm trying to, that doesn't mean I'm trying to take him from you. Like, no, you know what I mean? 
And I feel like that's what she thought love meant. And I'm like, I don't look. I ain't trying to steal him from you. I'm not. So, so anyway, she was saying, you know, her one, two, and I said my mind, and I just started getting upset. I was like, honestly, this isn't getting anywhere. I said, you're pissing me off because this is fucking stupid. I said, if you have a problem with him, you need to address it with him. If you don't want him talking to me, that's between you and him. I said, because I'm going to speak to whoever I want to speak to. So if y'all, whatever y'all have going on, y'all need to figure it out. I said, I ain't do nothing wrong. I'm his friend. I'm your friend. And if anything, I was trying to help y'all out, the both of yous. So you coming at me sideways is not okay. I said, you old enough that if you have an issue, you need to address it with me. Because you coming around here throwing this attitude, oh, hey, Brianna, and all this other shit, I'm not for it. I don't do that fake shit. If you have a problem with me, and I told her, I said, you have me on Facebook, you have my phone number. So if you wanted to tell me something, oh, you had every opportunity to do so. So I'm not with that shit. I said, for future references, if you have a problem with me, you need to let me know and not do all this other bullshit. And then I said, I'm going to leave because you're doing a lot. you acting like you want to hit me and all this other shit. And I'm going to leave before this escalates and turns into something that it don't even need to be. It said, you really pissing me off. So I said, here, I listen to you. I'm not here for the bullshit. So I'm going to leave before I end up hitting you. And I got up and I walked off. Now, keep in mind, I was not in my neighborhood. I'm in their neighborhood. So I just started walking trying to find my way back to Nicole's house and um I left them at the table so I'm Nicole's friend I'm her guest obviously she got to come back to the house with me so um I don't know what words were exchanged if any between the two because Nicole was like several steps behind me like I had made the corner before I even saw her behind me so I don't know if they like said words when I left but I was done I was like I'm done I, I need to leave before we get to scrapping so I made my way to Nicole's room and I was still kind of high because I'm like you did the most and I was I had to get in the zone like okay you know I might have to you know I might have to fight today so I was a little hyper whatever and yeah so like me and Nicole were de debriefing kind of talking about what happened and I started to feel bad I started to feel bad I remember I made like a post on like Facebook or Twitter or something like that about the incident and I didn't specifically tag her or anything like that obviously because I'm not messy like that but she know who she is so I remember saying something like you know um like like you know I low-key feel bad for just leaving her there but I just had to you know, it was something like that. Like, I just had to leave a bad situation. But I kind of feel bad for leaving her there. Some shit like that. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyways, we kind of talked about it. And me and Nicole were both like, I don't know what the fuck that shit was. Like, she was kind of tripping. So, fast forward a couple weeks. I remember it was around Easter that year. And I remember I got a phone call from this. I guess I deleted her number. So, I had this phone call from another number. I was like, Hello? She's like, hey, Brianna. And I was like, yeah, who is this? She was like, oh, it's S, like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what's up? She was like, oh, like, you know, I saw what you posted that day that we, like, met up at the park and, you know, all this stuff. And, like, I just want to say, like, I'm sorry for, you know, this and that and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, she said her one, two. I said mine. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, you know, like, we can be cool. Like, I'm not tripping. But, you know, next time you have an issue you need to let me know so fast forward this is like the next year at homecoming right so i see s and i'm like i'm thinking we're cool so i'm like hey s like how are you and she had lost a lot of weight so i'm like you look great like how have you been and she said who are you i said all right cool so i left because I'm, I'm like you know who the fuck i am you see me on facebook you, you know who the fuck i am so i was like all right she fake and yeah, so, and then she was like, oh, wait, wait, Brianna, hey, girl. And I was like, nah, you good, because you fucking shady as shit. And that was the last time I spoke to her. So, that was that was the last time I talked to her. I still have her on, like, Facebook, though. So, you know, no, no hard feelings. Like, I hope she happy. I hope she doing good. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
so yeah that's the story time of that's the time I almost got into a fight at the park I guess whatever so anyways hope you guys like this video comment subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you next time